other products that can be used. Um, Guests now. ranging from small children to elderly came to the Chicago Botanic Garden to celebrate World Bonsai Day on Saturday. The World Bonsai Day was founded by the World Bonsai Friendship Federation for kind of in honor of Mr. Sapporo Kato. They came up with this day to kind of pass on his philosophy of bonsai and peace and people working together and, and, uh, and being able to do bonsai together. This is the fourth year of World Bonsai Day. Although this is the first year the Chicago Botanic Garden is celebrating it. Baker suggested the garden to host this event for the first time in order to get a greater awareness for this art form and to spread Kata's philosophy. His philosophy was, uh, you know, if everybody did bones out of the world, would be a, a happier, more peaceful place. So uh, it's just a great opportunity for us uh, to join in with other collections and just spread the word of bones eye and just kind of come out to the courtyards and have fun and uh, do some bones eye, talk to some people. I think it creates an appreciation of um, one aspect of Japanese art. All of these plants that you see are a mimic or a, a small um, representation of what you would see in a natural setting. Although these trees may seem small, they are a lot older than they look. It's hard to imagine that these trees are hundreds of years old. They're already older than I will ever be. And they will be around being taken care of and sharing their beauty with us long after I'm gone. And there's something really special about that to me. Chris Baker hosted several events in celebration for World Bonsai Day, including a demonstration on how to maintain a bonsai tree, a guided tour of the courtyard, and finally, a demonstration on how to create a bonsai slab. Baker hosted this event to share what he thinks is a beautiful art form. You know, for me, for me, bonsai is more about the the journey and the the doing and the creating of bonsai uh, as much as, if not more, than having an end result. You know, it's the uh, it's the practice of bonsai that I think is where the the peace and the enjoyment comes from. Um, and then when you have a nice tree at the end of that, that's kind of nice too. But um, it's it's more of the more of the doing than the than anything else.